Well, hello, Faith Community Church and friends. Uh, welcome to another version of our Restore Inspirational videos. Uh, be sure to uh, like this video or share it with somebody you know um, who might need a little inspiration today. Well, I wanted to share with you today, this past weekend, I attended the uh, National Association of Congregational Christian Churches Conference. It's the big conference. All the churches of our association come together. And this year they came together here in the city of Milwaukee. And I just been thinking a lot about being a part of this association. I've been a part of this group all my life. And I was thinking about what does it mean to be a congregationalist? What is a congregationalist anyway? Um, and uh, so I, I was in my office. I pulled out this old book that I had um, called The Congregational Way of Life by Arthur Rauner. You can tell it's kind of worn. The cover's worn and the, and the pages are, are, and I got tabs and stuff that I've had in the, in the pages for years. One of the things that I love in this book by Arthur Rauner, who, by the way, even signed this book and is now deceased recently, but he wrote these words. He said, you cannot achieve unanimity of spirit with someone with whom you have not talked and prayed. And he was talking about the congregational spirit, about being together, uh, that a congregational church is a community of people bound by a covenant and, um, and also bound by our love for one another. And that made me just think about today. One, I love being in covenant relationship with uh, people of faith, and especially in our church. And also, I was just thinking about how compelling it is that you cannot achieve unity of spirit with someone you have not talked and prayed. I love the fact that as a Christian, I get to talk with other Christians and I get to pray with them. That creates a unity of spirit. I pray today that you uh, are living out being a congregationalist by talking to your Christian friends and praying with those in the church who are in fellowship with you and others who you love and care about as well. Have a great day, and would you join me now in prayer? Lord, we ask that you fill us with your spirit of love and unity among believers all across the world. We ask for you to help to set aside our differences and look to the greater cause, the cause of Christ. We ask that you would help us to truly live a life of love. In your name, amen. Well, thank you, Faith Community Church and friends. I hope maybe you got a little spirit of what it means to be a congregationalist today. I'm inspired having gone to the conference and I'd love to tell you more about it if we get a chance. Have a great day.